Welcome to the short video on understanding market cycles. An important concept to understand is the relationship between risk and return. The investor comfort zone is ideally where we would all like to invest, receiving high returns with little or no risk. Unfortunately, this is not the way investments work. The relationship between risk and return is highlighted by the various asset classes. Defensive assets such as cash and fixed interest generally have a lower level of risk, thereby providing us with a more stable return from one period to another. The trade-off for the lower level of risk is that returns in the long term are generally lower. On the other hand, growth assets such as shares, property and infrastructure are more likely to experience market fluctuations. They generally have a greater potential for higher returns in the long term, however they also have greater potential for negative returns. The reward to investors for taking a higher level of risk is the potential for higher levels of growth over the long term. There are various ways you can help manage your exposure to risk when investing. No matter what investment mix you choose, there is always some element of risk involved. By spreading or diversifying your investments across different asset classes, you can help manage the level of risk associated with market volatility. This is called diversification. Match your investment strategy to suit your time frame. If you don't need to access your money for a long time, you may consider investments that have a larger proportion of growth assets. With time on your side, you may feel you can afford to ride out the ups and downs of investment markets. On the other hand, if you have a shorter time frame, a more conservative approach may be appropriate. Stick to your strategy once you have selected it, and only make changes if your circumstances change. Saving for retirement is a long-term investment, and your investment strategy should reflect this. Chasing short-term returns by switching investment options can actually compound the negative impact of market volatility. Rather than protecting your investment, it can crystallise negative returns. Invest small amounts regularly. Investing over the long term may help smooth out markets over time and avoid the temptation of timing the market. Before making any decisions, you should seek advice from a financial advisor. They can look at your individual situation, your lifestyle and goals and make a recommendation that takes into account any risks. An advisor can also help you understand the balance between risk and return, which applies to any investment. When choosing an investment strategy, you should consider your personal circumstances and objectives. Having a goal in mind, such as retirement, a home deposit, an overseas holiday, or a new car, gives you something to work towards and helps define your strategy. Knowing and understanding your investment timeframes will help define your investment mix. If you have a short-term goal, such as buying your first home in the next one to two years, you may choose to invest more conservatively to minimise the effect of market fluctuations and maintain your investment capital. If your time frame is longer, your retirement, for example, may be 30 years away, you may be comfortable with a more aggressive investment strategy. Your attitude to risk and return is also important. You should remember that there is a relationship between risk and return. Decide on an investment strategy that you feel comfortable with. It is important to also consider your partner's risk profile. For example, when investing for retirement, both of you need to be comfortable with your investment strategy. As we have seen, market fluctuations are a normal part of investing. Saving for retirement through a superannuation scheme or KiwiSaver is generally considered a long-term investment. Before making changes to your investment options, carefully consider your long-term strategy for achieving your goals. It is important to review your investment portfolio to ensure it suits your financial objectives, investment timeframe and attitude to risk. Most importantly, seek financial advice from a financial advisor before you act, not after.